Welcome to My Success. This show is all about what it takes to be successful. Tune in for some great conversation designed for providing you with the best information possible to help you achieve your goals and dreams. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our podcast, our monthly podcast, My Success. I'm Kim (laughs) Martin, founder of I've Decided and one of the hosts of the show today, but I have my awesome uh, guest with me today, Molly Cruzen Bishop, and our newest success partner, our certified (laughs) coach within our I've Decided organization. And uh, I just thought this was a great opportunity to introduce you guys to Molly and share a little bit about your success story. Our weekly winning word this week is bigger. And we always like uh, to kind of gear our topic around those weekly winning words. We send out a weekly winning resource every week to our members uh, around a specific topic. And uh, so this week is bigger. And when I look at uh, the definition of that, Molly, <laughs> your name just is all around. They should have your picture right next to, <laughs> to the definition. And when you hear a little bit of her story today, as we talk about this word and how it applies to success and all the things that you're doing in different areas of your life, you know, not just becoming a success partner with I've Decided, but running the Chillicothe Chamber and all of your writing and authoring your books. Can't (laughs) wait to hear about those. But um, the definition of bigger is mental and or physical strength, energy or enthusiasm, power, vitality or intensity in action. (laughs) And that's the part where I'm like, definitely when you joined our organization (laughs) last year, you had intense action, like you are rare to go. And so uh, (laughs) welcome to the show. Well, thank you so much. Um, Thanks so much for having me today. I'm so excited to be here and and share a little bit about what drew me to here and the benefits that I've gained and hopefully how we can help some other people. Absolutely. So um, when we think about vigor, it's not that energy that comes from drinking that little energy drink or that cup of coffee, right? Uh, That's a quick, non-lasting energy. We're talking about... Um, that lasting, that internal, mental, emotional, yeah. and physical energy that allows you to do all the work yeah. necessary to achieve those big goals and dreams. And I know you have some big goals and <laughs> dreams, so why don't you Absolutely. share a little bit about that? Sure. So the word bigger to me definitely, you know, matched my energy level with um, the passions that I pursue. Um Many years ago, I made up my, once my kids started, all my kids were in school, I started, you know, a little more self-reflection and um, self-focus on how did I want to spend the next half of my life? What did I want to do as a person? Who, who did God make me to be the second half of my life? And one of the answers that I received was writer, a speaker, and um, a life coach one day. And so um, I had been, um, you know, threw myself into my passion with writing and with with speaking about history, especially. Um, But I really just found that when you're walking, whatever you're passionate about, it's not an accident. Right. (laughs) If it's healthcare, if it's whatever it is, when you when you are have the time and you make a choice to follow what your passions are. It's not an accident. No. So opportunities started arising. So it's kind of a, an, a connected effort of hard work, focus, and being open to what the world has to offer you once you decide to follow that. And I began, began having opportunities to um, write for local magazines. And I self-published a children's book. And, you know, they say, when you want to do something, find the person who's doing it really well and get their advice. A lot of times they'll mentor you. And I had that. And so I've been able to get in eight different magazines, publish two books, a lot of book signings. I'm in some libraries, bookstores. So I've had some success, not necessarily financial, but learning the process of uh, writing doing the work mm-hmm. absolutely the hard work putting the hard work in and the grunt it work. doesn't just no. uh happen it's not you know we all get that idea of this <laughs> overnight success like i've got this great idea and i know it's going to be awesome oh, i'm going to put it out there 
but uh, not without the grind, people. Oh, no. The, <laughs> it, you got to have bigger so that you can do yes. the grind. So yeah. that's why when, you, when you're trying to, be, you know, if you're having some kind of life change that you're just not, you know, you're living lukewarm or you're living where you're just like, I'm, I'm missing. I, I see other people walking around with a sparkle in their eyes with what they do. I want that for me. And you need to figure out what it is for you yes. and apply apply it to your life. And so once I started getting opportunities to start writing for local magazines, a uh, women's view magazine several years ago, the Peorian online magazine, IBI magazine, different, different things. And there is, um, I've put the work in, I probably have, I don't know, I'm guessing a hundred, 150 articles out there and, you know, online and in print. And so I've done some of my dues, you know, but it's being tenacious. It's being, um, open to doing the dil diligent hard work consistently. Right. And never, ever letting go of that end vision. So about a year, a little over a year ago, um, I had been watching, I've decided, and I've, I've, I've been a fan for a while of uh, what you do and some of the videos, and I knew Kurt White. And so I just thought, and Kurt White is one of our oh, success he's partners wonderful. as well. He's, he's so inspirational. Yeah, just to let you guys know who that is. Yes, Kurt is, he's rock solid. He is um, mind over matter. He is just positive, positive. And really, I, I saw him helping other people. And yes. I saw you helping other people online. I would watch some of the conference videos and your videos. And so, you know, that the seed to do uh, personal development has been with me for about 10 years. And I wanted to be a life coach. I thought that was something that I could help. I could relate to a lot of different people. And um, about a year ago, I just had this thought and it was just join. I've decided. And your the company had been around for eight years, as you know, because you're the best. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen a eight lot wondrous, of wondrous <laughs> uh, years. Yes. I, won't, I won't go eight <laughs> long years. <now. laughs> and I, and I, it's, it's been really a blessing to watch your videos and different things that you've put out content wise the last eight years because it was a journey. You know, the seed was planted elsewhere, but it just kept leading me back to uh, your company. And the reason why is because it you have a solid, good, strong reputation here and you're eight years old. Um, there's a lot of online things and stuff that I just didn't really feel comfortable with or didn't connect with me. And I wanted something local. Um, you know, I've, uh, I have a, some name and face recognition a little bit with my writing and I used to have a radio show. So I wanted something, had a good reputation. That you could be affiliated with local, although we are yes, global, absolutely. as you know now. We absolutely. had someone <laughs> attend our conference all the way from Kuwait, Kuwait that online is amazing. virtual. <laughs> absolutely. But yeah, to be affiliated with a local company that's here you know, this is our, when you say local, we're, you know, I don't know who's listening or where they're That's listening true. from, but we are corporate offices in Peoria, Illinois, which is where we're recording this yeah. uh, vodcast right now. You might be watching the vodcast <laughs> or listening on a podcast, um, but we're recording it in our home office, which is in Peoria, Illinois. Yes. But and, and so it's a combination of things. It's mm -hmm. a combination of wanting something that can expand but also, um, have, you know, with that connection that I have locally, using that to um, pursue um, hopefully people coming to through, I've decided to me, to um, connect with them and help uh, be a success partner with them. Um, and, and coach. And yeah. coach. And yeah, so when I, when I which started. Which is what Cindy <laughs> was for you, right? Oh, my gosh. Cindy Bird was my coach. And I've had some sessions with you as well. And. I was all 100% in when I when I made up my mind a year ago, and I knew that this was the end goal. And I wanted to show up. I wanted to do it as 100% close. You know, I'm human, but, you know, you, I wanted to do everything that was part of um, the package. And that included the journal and the weekly word and the weekly challenge and the coaching with Cindy and then having other people in our group feeding off of each other. And what I realized was, oh my gosh, this personal development, it's taking it to a, a whole new level. Right. And that level is where I was, I could see tangible things each month would go by of little, you know, small, medium, and large goals that I was knocking off my list um, with that personal, you know, with the, with the connection with Cindy Bird and with you and then with the other members in the group. And uh, something else that I made up my mind to that I was going to come to every single networking, um, you know, the first and third Thursday of the month. And that was really beneficial for me. 
um, I was able to get into another magazine, uh, Construction Beauty Magazine. Um, it led me to opening up the time by quitting one of my part-time jobs to open it up. And I ended up getting a book contract with Reedy, Reedy Press Publishing in St. Louis to do a book on Peoria. Which is awesome. Which I'm really excited about. Yes. And, um, you know, it's coming down to the wire now. So I'm, I, you know, it's, it's it, but I can handle it. I can, I'm, you know, we all fall off our game once in a while. Uh, but when you have all the pieces um, that I feel that I've decided have, it just really, you get back up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, the pieces real of the quick. puzzle for success, Absolutely. right? And yes. one of those pieces of the puzzle and is exactly what we provide through our success partners like you in that coaching, that weekly group coaching or either the one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching um, is that accountability and support, oh, absolutely. right? To, to keep you stable to keep you focused and oh yeah because when you know you're gonna have to have almost an hour once a week with your coach and they're like hey what let's go over the things from last week how did that work for you let's go over the things for next week what are what are your thoughts on this um you know do you need any help with anything um and it just it just week after week, it just grew and grew and grew. And, and I just, momentum. And the momentum. Oh, the energy mm -hmm. cycle coming. Well, yeah, that's where the vigor boomerang. comes from, right? That's yes. that emotional <laughs> vigor that we're talking about. Yes. That mental strength comes from success. Those little those little successes along the way. And it builds momentum and success begets success. It does. So um, I love that. That's <laughs> It's so cool. And then so you did, you followed the the success process all the way through for a full year. You did Absolutely. weekly group coaching with Cindy. Cindy Bird is also one of our success She's partners amazing. in coaching coaches. I want to say coaching, but <laughs> coaches. Uh, she she offers coaching, but she is a coach, a success partner, and um, you you met with her every week and just follow that process, and then. At the conference, <laughs> well, at the end of the year, you went through the certification, which yes. was a twelve-hour certification with oh, yeah. me. And then uh, we were able to uh, introduce you as our newest certified success Absolutely. partner at our conference in January. Yes. So was that awesome. was so exciting. So exciting to have that goal a little over a year ago. And honestly, the 12, the hours that I did with you, oh my gosh, amazing. I learned so much, which we can Thank always, you. always learn. But it was everything together in this whole year. It was the journal. It was the um, pieces of the puzzle. It was uh, the networking. It was ev all of it together mm -hmm. helped attain something that for me felt really good inside because I knew it was a reputable company and the people I've seen people make huge um, investments in this and then come out the other side with huge success, um, which is, you know, for me, this is a success. Um, and it's I was great, you know, and I was thinking, who is my audience? Who is my audience for people that might want to come with me? And I think anybody could come here and throw us in with of any course. one of the coaches um, and you would benefit. Um, but just being a middle aged woman, I just turned 50. <laughs> <laughs> we were born you know? in 1972. <laughs> I know. The best year ever. I'll yes, be 50 in absolutely. October. I know so many people that are turning 50 this year. <laughs> it's Tracy, incredible. Tracy, guys, I with know. Golden Tours. She's in the fall our, as well. Yeah, That's so one exciting. One of our uh, members of I've decided I... <laughs> she'll be 50 this year. And I I, I know there's, I don't want to call anybody out because I, I don't have permission. But, you know, Tracy, she tells, she's like me. She's. Uh, She'll tell you anything, yes. so I know she won't care. But, but it's 50 there's quite fabulous. a few of us. It's, yeah. a, it's a big thing. And, uh, <laughs> and some of the guys, they're, they're around that 50 mark, too. Not just us girls, but I don't know what it is about that. But <laughs> I think it's that middle age. I think it's like we we know it's now or never. You know, it's exactly. like if you've, got, <laughs> if you've got something big that you want to accomplish or you know there's more mm -hmm. for you in this life and, mm -hmm. and God's given you that vision of what you want to do, you start to get that feeling like, okay, I got to do it's it. It's a pressing. It, it's, it's, it's pressing. a push. It yeah. is, it, and it, when you know, when you figure out what it is, mm -hmm. you are filled with vigor mm -hmm. because there's not like, for me, I'm like life coaching is the thing. And we, I see so many people 
our age, you know, millennials, I'm the mom to four millennials, I think. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I have five kids. But, you know, I, I have. She might have some have Gen Z. 30, she have might a, have some Gen Z's in there. <laughs> I have a 30-year-old, 26, yep. 21, 18, and 13. So you have Gen Z's and millennials. I have it all. And you have the, <laughs> the higher end of millennial, the younger millennial, exactly. and the Gen Z. So you've got, you do have it all. But. And so, so I can connect with, I can connect with people from different decades of life. And, you know, it, you know. There are so many things in life that can compel you and, and sometimes force us to make a huge change in life. They right. force us to get to that personal development, you know, a divorce, a death, you know, things that just, you know, happen that, you know, we don't want to experience, but it's just part of being human in this world. Um, so I would recommend, <laughs> you know, if, if you're just not quite where you want to be and you have some specific things that you know hey, you know what? I would be a good writer. I would be a good radio show host or a vodcaster, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Um, I think investing into uh, personal development is the ultimate form of self-care because when we're investing into who we are and what we're, what we're doing and following our passions and achieving those goals, you're walking in your purpose. Like you're doing what you were created to do. Which and I th causes you, you can, to have vigor because you can be your actions align with what you are supposed to be doing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, absolutely. So for me, it's it's writing and history and, and, and other things, you know, mm -hmm. it's travel as well. I think you, as someone <laughs> that would be good in your group, would definitely be people who are interested in writing. Yes, you writing. Know? I've had a radio show. I love to travel. That's something that's huge on my, um, some of my goals right. um, that I'm attaining. And you guys are getting to take a trip. Oh my gosh. Aren't you yes. so excited? This is a little personal <laughs> little sidebar here, yeah, but so you and your whole family are, are going, going to Gulf Shores, yeah. Alabama. Oh, Gulf Shores, my neck of the woods. <laughs> and my son, Jack, who's 13 and he's a history buff. You know, we're all kind of history buffs in our family. Well, half of us are. And he's like, can we go to Mobile? <laughs> you should because, because there's, there's some civil well, war and things. Spanish Fort. And Spanish Fort. Spanish Fort so. is a great place to go. We might have to do a day trip your to Mobile. Son would, if he loves history, <laughs> he does. He would love the battleship and he would love, um, um, Spanish for. Yeah, absolutely. And he wants to take a side trip to Vicksburg. And I'm like, I don't think that's going to happen on this trip. <laughs> He's so fun. But yeah, so I mean, like, you know, a relocation. Are you new to the area? Do you want to get invested uh, and do personal development to get to know a group of people who are of like minds? And so that is one of the hugest benefits um, to joining I've Decided is that they say you are the energy of what you are around. The the top five people around you are what you're going to be like. Right. So if you have a lot of people in your life that are slackers or, you know, not, not fulfilling any dreams or goals, um, keep doing what you're doing. But if, 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 if you want to improve that and improve your career, improve so many things about your life, your health, that's something that's on my list for this year is my health, yes. um, to make that more of a priority. Um, you want to surround yourself with people who have a mindset that we can achieve so much more than what we're doing. There's always more. Always more. And and educate, you know, my parents taught me to always educate yourself your whole life long. And so for me, this is a huge piece of my personal education. Um, but the investment that I've made with I've decided is big. And, um, you know, if your kids are grown, if you're a 20 or 30 year old, like there's so many, like you could come to me and, and coach and go to you. Any one of us is going to help you. Um, really, you're going to have tangible results. That's what people, you know, I think people just don't say, oh, personal development. But I think after the last two years of the pandemic and so much stress and up and down in our society and just turmoil, you know, here and there, I think we're all kind of like coming out of it. A, a, yes. Maybe a little different version of the self that you walked into 2020, you know, and now we're 2022. We're kind of segueing out of this with different things. But I see and that who people, are you now? right. Who are you <laughs> now? And I do see that people are saying, you know, I, I want to do what makes me happy. I want to oh, do what absolutely. I know I should be doing. Um, and you can start where you are, right? You, yes. you, you don't have to, uh, yeah, I think about uh, Kurt. He <laughs> yeah. left his 25-year financial career oh knowing gosh. that he was going to take a leap of faith and uh, that he was born for so much more to encourage oh people. He's, he's living his dream in Colorado his dream. now. Oh, my God. Um, and <laughs> But, you know, that might be a little scary at first for some people. And you, you want a baby step. And you can just start where you are at where you're working right now or whatever it is yeah. that you're doing and just start moving in that direction and start learning. Yeah. And uh, 
I just love your story. <laughs> I want to have a thousand more uh, Mollies. I want to have a thousand more people who are ready to take it to the next level, who want to achieve their goals and dreams, and who know that if they, um, like you said, Molly, put in the time, put in the work, right? That it's going to happen if you have all the pieces of the puzzle of success. Yes. And I think that's that's the key. It is. Um, that's what we're able to provide our members that I've decided is all those pieces in one location. So you're not having to spread yourself so thin yeah. all around, right? Oh, absolutely. And, and just, you know, uh, and, and something else that definitely is a benefit of this that you don't really think about. It's not counseling. We're not counseling. We're not saying that. But it definitely helps everybody as a human being, whether you admit it or not, has self-esteem that goes kind of up and down depending mm -hmm. on what's going on in life. You know, your teenage kids acting up, you're like, what am I, you know, yeah. you know what, what kind of, you know, what, what's happened? And, you know, we all have things in life along the way. And for me, um, I've decided has really helped me to be so adaptable so much more quickly and pick myself up when you have those times where you're not feeling your hottest or you're, um, you know, you're kind of questioning or, you know, maybe struggling in some life area. knocks you down. And so and when you, yeah, when you keep coming back week to week and then you're like, Oh my gosh, I, I something that might've taken a year or knocked me out of the game altogether. I'm, I'm able to get through in a week or two yeah, and, and overcome and that. And, and so those are successes as well. So it just, I can't, it's just, personal development. It's just like <laughs> I love it. Huge. And Huge. well, and it, and when we talk about our weekly winning word and how that applies to vigor, um, that, that mental, uh, energy, right. Absolutely. That intense action that we need to take. Yeah. It really does happen when you surround yourself with other positive people. It creates, uh, that vigor inside of you to have the energy to do the work that you need to do. And Absolutely. I think that's, you're a perfect example of that. You are a perfect <laughs> success story. And I Thank hope you. that um, if you're listening, wherever you are or watching, that you're listening to Molly's success story and it's um, relating to you and what it is that what's, you know, God speaking to you in your heart that you need to be doing, that you should be doing, you know, I've decided to dot, dot, dot. That's why we got those three oh dots my there. Gosh, Fill absolutely. in the blank. <laughs> what is it that you need to decide to do uh, that you're not doing now that you need to? And that's what we want to help you uh, achieve. And so um, I, I love all that, Molly. Any <laughs> final thoughts before we um, kind of? No, wrap? I just think don't wait till that crisis or life change forces you into a thing where you're like, I have nowhere to go to but Start ahead of time prevent yeah. preventive maintenance goes so far in life you can avoid so many you know mistakes and and things that are not meant for you if you invest in in yourself along the way regularly and the key to finding out point. what your passions are whatever your passions are whatever brings you a smile when you're by yourself when you think of it that is not on accident when you go to a concert, if some type of song or something speaks to you or you're walking in nature, you know, pay, start paying attention and writing those things down because you'll find themes in there. Mm -hmm. And whatever those themes are, you know, you can you can make a life and incorporate that into it. You know, I might not be a historian, but I bring history my passion into almost everything that I do. <laughs> For sure. So and it's, it's not, not an accident you know, is what it's I'm not, saying. And we it's, talked about that at the conference, <laughs> right? We talk, our, our theme this year in 2022 is unlimit your life. Oh my God. And yeah. we talked about eight principles to help you unlimit your life. And that first one was consider your life. Everything in your life, it's not an accident. No. Where you were born, who you were born to, how, yeah. what type of lifestyle were you born into? How did you live? Who were you surrounded by? Who were your influences? What did you learn that somebody else may not learn because of your circumstances? You know, oh, yeah. all of these, and that's what you're saying, just consider everything. It's it's not by chance. It is a part of um, who you are and what you were born to do. Yeah. And even that, when you start, <laughs> I love what you said, when you smile by yourself, when you start to consider those things, you start to feel that vigor inside boiling, it bubbling, it's an energy up. boomerang. It Absolutely. Is. <laughs> and so I always like to end with our uh, weekly winning quote. And I love it. It's very simple, but it essentially it's a Leonardo da Vinci code. And it says inaction saps the vigor of the mind. Oh, absolutely. And it's so true. Um, you know, I say this all the time when our action doesn't align 
with uh, what we know we're supposed to be doing, it makes us sad. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, it just does. It makes, it zaps our energy. It makes us sad. Uh, it, it makes it you feel causes, like you're stuck in place. It makes you feel like you're on a hamster wheel and it's just not the best place to be. So if your actions don't align with what you know you should be doing, you are a perfect person. Absolutely. You are our people. Yes. You are a perfect <laughs> person to join Absolutely. our community and uh, become a Launch My Success member. You can do weekly group coaching with one of our certified coaches uh, like Molly. Um, or you could do what you can choose launch my success with one-on-one -on -one coaching where you get a couple of one-on-one -on -one sessions with our uh, coaches. So uh, we want to invite you to join and check us out. Uh, or if you're already a member and you want to add coaching, we want to encourage you to upgrade your membership. It, the time is now, you know, don't wait. I, this is what they, the, stati the statisticians, right. That, that put out, they, a lot of them work for insurance companies and things like that. And they produce, they tell you what things cost and yeah. they're really good at it. And what they say is for every dollar that you invest in your personal development yourself, you actually get a $5 return in the long run. And I think that, it, I mean, in my life, and I know you would agree, Molly, um, and I think if you're listening, if you think about your life and anytime you've invested in your own personal development, you've made money. You It hasn't oh, cost absolutely. you money. You Somehow or another, you've gotten it back. So per, for me, personal development is a gift that you're giving your family, you're giving your career, you're gi you're giving it, you're, you're just helping enhance the best, making yourself be the best possible version of yourself you can be. And that to me is a, so it has so much value. It's an invest. Yeah, I love how you say that. It's like when you invest <laughs> in is. yourself, you're investing in your whole family because you now you're giving them your best. I love that. That's a good note to end on. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. You. Awesome. Molly, thanks for thanks joining so me for today. And me. thanks for sharing your oh, story. Absolutely. And uh, I would, we would, Molly and I would love for you to join our community. So you can go to ivysighted.org and check it out. Okay. All right. All right. Enjoy uh, the rest of your day.